My name is Ben Shiros. I'm a process engineer here at Markor Switches. Um, I've been here for about two years now. So the role I played in this Oswego project uh, for the digital and on sheet, um, I was essentially just the customer. So they came with, uh, they came looking for a project. We have a problem with our and on sheet right now. It's very tedious. It's fully manual. It's all done on paper. Um, so that takes up a lot of time with the operators. So they came to me looking to help essentially. Um, I acted as just the customer. I told them what my problem was. They came up with a solution from the ground up. Um, they started pitching ideas, started working through the development process. Again, bouncing ideas off of me, seeing if that would work. We made some transitions, some uh, changes as well. And once we finally came up with a concept that would work for us, they went ahead and actually developed the project um, and then had certain milestones that they would try to reach where they would present different uh, versions of the system where we would then make changes, tweaks, until they eventually came in. We brought it and we demoed it on the floor to the operators and the people who would be using the system. So at the beginning of the semester, I was still deciding what I wanted to do my capstone on. And then Professor Bashan came to us and asked if anyone was interested. And he said, there's a company called Marcourt, and they're looking for an interface. I said, well, that sounds cool. This guy dumps the data into the database. But then when I looked them up and realized how big it was and how much human interaction and things that I can get outside of a normal project from it, I had to do it. It was too good to pass up. It was a chance to actually really work with an actual company and get some, well, real life experience in this field. And it's very interesting to say the least. It's been a great experience. Marcourt has been, um, the easiest partner to work with so far in my you know, 12 years of doing projects like these. So I'm developing an interface for them and it's based on the web and basically it's going to allow factory workers to input data much faster and it's going to save a lot of time process for the engineers. Everything is all right here, so you don't have to do it twice. Essentially what we do is we take in the data that is gathered from operators and uh, floor workers and we take in that data and then we turn it into comparable graphs. So that way when they look at it, it's not just a bunch of numbers. They can just see a graph and be like, oh, we have a 50% downtime or something like that. So essentially we're just cutting out a lot of that middle ground and just doing all the calculations. As soon as you have that extra external partner and an appropriately project uh, scoped project, the value for the students and for the partner goes up dramatically. So that's really, it's, yeah, it's a lot more effort, but it's invaluable to do. A lot of hands-on experience that I would have never got on otherwise, and just a lot of advice from a really good teacher. And it was very interesting to get essentially told, this is great, try this, this is nice, but can you make it more like this? And just seeing and like really fitting a product to someone's purposes and creating a more interesting thing that's more tailored to the customer in question. So the Sunio Swigo, we have a very, um, very significant and very uh, long history of successful projects where we move things directly into the industry such that our partners can immediately benefit from this.